Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another long drive episode and today we're gonna be adventuring off into the world and we're going to get this be building a base off in the wilderness and there's a crazy rabbit stuck in my cab here and I totally forgot we're gonna need some supplies before we go out. <laughs> We're gonna go to the front here and we're gonna fill this up with some supplies. We're gonna need a stool, right? Grab this bad boy, pop it in there. This is gonna be such a horrible idea. We're gonna need some pallets too. How is this gonna work? Just like that? Yeah, we're gonna have to be careful. Ooh. Oh, oh, there's a zombie rabbit right here. Stay away from me, you cheesy rabbit zombie. What, what did I call him? A cheesy rabbit? <laughs> Okay, well, he died anyways. This is a big one. I think this might be my biggest zombie rabbit yet. Okay, pop him there. We got some pallets. How am I gonna secure these to my car? Because I don't think we could drive with these very well. Okay, we're gonna grab at least three, I think. Uh, if, we, if we have three. Okay, there's three right here. Boom, right? That looks good. And then I think I'm gonna take off a piece here just to hold them all together. Boom. That'll hold. But anyways, if you would like to see more long drive in the future, don't forget to smack that like button and let me know down below in the comments what we should do next. And what's your what, your favorite long journey, what? Uh, vacation jokes. That made no sense. Okay, we should probably get going. Let's maybe close this a bit. Like, uh, come on. Like, oh, it's all gonna fall off. Stay up. Stay on there. Maybe if we drive backwards, it might work. Okay, close the door, break off. Um, yeah, D no, my pallets. Oh, well, we have two, that's all that matters. We got two pallets. We're gonna go try building a base somewhere. Uh-oh, what's happening? Uh, this is such a great idea. <sighs> my pallets, my pallets, my stool. Hey, it flung my pallets over here. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is not gonna work. You know what? Who needs pallets anyways? Um, I need to close this first of all. There we go. We'll get back in the cab. And I'm gonna hit this rabbit here because he's the reason why we can't have nice things. And now he's in the car. And we switched <laughs> off with another rabbit. And the car's flying in circles. Landed nicely. What just popped out? That was my cooler. Oh my gosh. Rabbits, are you serious? Okay, well, we're going again. The car's fixed. Uh, don't question why the rabbit's back in the car. I totally didn't load my save because I didn't want to put everything back in. We're gonna go a little ways. Maybe find another building to gather some supplies in because we can't go too far without the car going crazy. And this rabbit is impeding my vision. So let's look around. Is that definitely Canada up there or are we just far away? It might just be because we're far away. We have yet to find actual snow, but we'll find it eventually. Is that a building? No, that's a thing. So we're just gonna go up the hill a little bit. Oh, there's a building over there. It looks like a part store. That's the perfect place to build a base. Let's go. And I really hope we find more of these beams that are on the front of our cars here because we can build up our zombie rabbit defenses around it even though we're going to have to use a few of these beams to build our temporary base. But don't worry, I, I hope I can remember how to build that. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. Wait, is that even a part store? I don't... I don't think it's a parts store. Now I'm kind of sad. I think it's just one of those building things with the tower on top. That's not really changing colors. The terrain's staying white. I think that might actually be snow. Whoa, okay. Well, we found one of these buildings. Uh, they do have a lot of supplies here. So I'm gonna gather what I need, pack them back on the car and not go too far. That sounds like a great plan. Bang. Okay, we got three pallets. Let's see what else is in here. We got a brush. Well, we got a lot of brushes. We don't really need those. <gasps> a foot. Okay, we need this. We need that so much. Oh, and look at this. We have a bed because every base needs a bed. Okay, long jump this. That was the worst jump in my life. But don't worry, we got a bed. We got a toilet down here. Oh, don't break. Don't break. I need you. Ooh, careful. Here's the bed that we're gonna take out. Come on, just gotta angle it out like an old couch, like they always say, there we go. And this bad boy is gonna go up top, perfectly balanced. Let's get in the car and drive a very short distance away. No, my toilet! 
It exploded into a million pieces. Now where am I gonna poop? Look at this, it's staying. Wow, really? As soon as I say, look, it's staying, it doesn't stay and it falls off and breaks. Well, look at this, this is our new backyard. We have a cactus. It's beautiful, okay. So let's get our supplies and put them down over here and get building. Well, look at this. We actually made it pretty far, like about two or three kilometers away from that building. Okay, we got our bed. This is what we're gonna build around because we're camping in this bad boy for a couple nights. And if we die from rabbits, I guess we suck at building then. Okay, we need to rip some of this apart because these are gonna be our wall structure things, right? So we're gonna put one here. This other one will go maybe right here, bang, and then we grab this pallet, right? And we turn it around and we pop it down, just like that. That's our wall. See? That is not gonna work very well. We need more supplies. And it's starting to look like a base. Now, I don't wanna rip any more of these off because we would mess it up, but if we grab our, our trunk table and put it right here, it's a roof. Wow. And these doors? Yeah, we can we can use these. It's looking pretty nice, actually. Yeah, wait. I'm not feeling so bad about this place now. We got two more doors that we can use on the sides here. We'll put one right here. And this last door will go right on the front. Wow. This looks like such a nice base. Okay, Philip. Hop on out. Check out our new home. Do you love it? It's pretty nice, hey, Philip? He loves it. He loves it, even though I can't understand him. Well, you know what? I'm totally trusting my base there. I'm not grabbing this ammo because um, I don't trust its capacity for survival. There's a rabbit right there. Uh, and I'm also not grabbing this rusty revolver here to protect me against the possible scary creatures that are walking towards me. Headshot. Don't question it. I think if we stay here for one night, it's a success. So I'm gonna hop on my bed here and we're gonna wait until it's dark. Maybe spot some UFOs up in the sky and stuff. Uh, look around really quick. Maybe this is Canada because look, the terrain is actually changing right here. So we might have some snow. I can't wait to go check that out. Wait, our toilet survived. Oh yeah, we gotta test this bad boy out. And we're gonna go, whoop, yeah, whoop. Whoop, and then we're gonna go, eh. Press these buttons a bunch. Oh yeah, look at that, it works. Okay, it seems like it's getting really dark out and it's the perfect time to test our building capacities. Okay, hop up here, no, my roof, my roof, we need that. Pop that back down right there, nice. I thought I heard something over here too. I think it might be a rabbit, where is it? have no clue it's getting really dark and i don't want to test it we got to stay in our base for a full night we got to sleep in it and if we die well that's it that's the end of the series it is getting so dark out here but look wait where'd philip go philip wait philip F philip oh no philip i think philip's gone guys he disappeared he's not underneath the bed oh no look around i see a floating ufo up there is there any more um there's a green UFO over there. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I wonder where Philip went. The base is falling over. It just destroyed my tree. My cactus. Philip, where'd he go? Wait. There he is. There's Philip. Let's grab him quick. I can't see a thing out here. There might be rabbits. Okay. Okay. Get back to the base. Get back to the base. I see some glowing eyes over there. Oh, it's kind of creepy. And I'm going to sit and sleep. And look at that. It looks like we survived a full night out in the wilderness with our DIY base. Um, perfect. Now let me just get these doors and stuff back on. Boom! Oh no, Philip's cousin fell out. Okay, here we go. Bang! Let's grab Philip. He tried to run away during the night. He was afraid. Okay, close this door and throw him back on the seat with his rabbit friend who I don't know why is still with us. And I want to make sure I grab everything here because I don't want to waste any pieces. And it looks like we got everything. This stuff is staying here because it's garbage and we are ready to go. That was awesome. And we're going to see if this is actually Canada and if it's actually snow. And if it is, 
We, we accomplished our ultimate goal in the long drive. All right, we made it back to the highway or the road. It's a single road. I don't know why there's no like off roads, like a little dirt trail that leads you to a creepy little house and you wonder what's in there. And it turns out to be a monster. That'd be cool. Um, I, oh, car, car. I think it's the rabbit. I think it's the rabbit. Hold on tight, Philip. I wish this rabbit would get out. I should not have put him in the car with us. Whoa, look at this. Look at this, the mountain is pretty white. And the grass here is turning a dull color. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Please don't give up my hopes, game. Please. It's starting to look very snowy. It's awesome. I'm excited. We got a house up there. Wonder if that's my real house. Uh, no. My house does not look like that. And my house does not levitate like a mirage in the desert. <gasps> this is totally snow. We're here. We made it to Canada. Oh, this is so cool. This is how high Canada is too. Like 50,000 feet above Earth. Do I even want to stop at this house? I might as well to see what's here. Oh, doing a flip. Don't worry about it. Are we high centered? I think so. Never mind. We're good. Okay, park the car. Turn it off. Let's see what we got. I'm excited. Gas. We got a new toilet. We got a, a car. Nice. We got some broken cars in here. Uh, they're not the greatest looking. And yes, this place was a waste of time. We're gonna go. But you know what's not a waste of time? Um, z zombie rabbit plows. Come here. Come here, little dude. It's winter. Don't you know it's cold? Don't you know you we got zombie plows up here in Canada? Bang! Uh oh. Did I get him? Okay, that's all that matters. I got him. And I ran him over a second time, and I'm doing backflips. Okay, it's totally this zombie rabbit in the car messing with me. He's in my vision. I can't see a thing. What just popped off? My bumper. Are you serious? Oh, there we go. Perfect. He's out. You know what it is? These roads are slippery. Oh, that makes sense. Ice. There's ice everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go grab this stuff and put it back on. Okay, up the hill we go, if we can. We're kind of spinning out. And is all that smoke because the car is overheating? My dash. My dash is gone. It might be because it's overheating or it's really, really cold. One of them. Hopefully it's cold. Oh, whoa, look at the roads. The roads are really icy. It's showing now. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's very dangerous. And check it out, we are almost at the very top of the Canadian mountains. We were all the way down over there somewhere. And check it out. I don't think there's any zombie snowmen in this version of the game. So we don't have to worry too much, even though they were pretty cool to survive against. And holy man, this is a steep climb. You can even hear the wind. It's really windy up here and cold. And it looks like we made it to... Come on, come on, right about... Here, the peak of Canada. Kinda, I guess. And now we just have to drive all the way down. I wonder how long this is gonna last. Canada's very large. But anyways, if you'd like to see more long drive in the future, don't forget to smack that like button and let me know down below your favorite parts of Canada. Bye.